Hey y'all, it's Anime Game Man. Today I'm going to be reading the ninth episode of the Quintessential Quan Triplets, and I gotta say, this episode was pretty darn good actually, because we got to, at the very least, get to see some character development with Ichiga. She's starting to, at least the episode's implying that she's starting to get some feelings towards Futado. Because, parts ways in, there was a situation where there were where Futaro's late for to go to this camping trip because he was taking care of Raiha. And then you have the sisters pretty much offer Futaro a ride. And I like that little sequence right there because it was development for the Quinta for the Quintriplets in general because they're bonding more Futaro for the most part, agreeing to do favors like that for him. So those are pretty nice sequences. And then the little sequence when they were getting clothing for Futaro out of their own monies was nice. It's showing off that they're bonding in multiple different ways. And then I like how it interspliced humor in there too. Like when Nino says stuff like, oh, we only bought you these clothing so that you don't look like a hobo. So I like how during the character development sequences, there's also some nice bits of humor placed in here, here and there to make the episode lively. So that was nice to see this kind of progression. And then from the character standpoint, Ichika, I think, developed a substantial amount because you can now tell she's getting some kind of feelings for, towards Futaro, especially when it implied that she might have even kissed. I mean, not kissed, but she didn't, she didn't kiss him, but she was about to before Ichi, Itsuki opened the door. So that was also a little sequence there, kind of possibly po introducing conflict between... Ichiga and Miku in the future. So I can't wait to see where this goes. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm rooting for Miku, but I wouldn't mind if Futaro ended up with Ichiga either. She's cool too, in my book, but I like that. Introducing some possible drama into the future. And then aside from that, I also like how in this episode you get to see more facets of Futaro's soft personality when you see him like wiping the sweat off Rahia's face and then doing her homework for her while she's sick. Those are also beautiful sequences. And again, I like when they had little jokes saying stuff like, you want me to pamper you? But in like a hilarious way because you see, you see him like making sure, watching her have sleep so that she isn't alone while she has the fever. So those are also nice sequences. They gave Futaro more nice characterization. And that's why I thought this episode did pretty well from the character standpoint, honestly. And then you have Miku too subtly wanted to get closer with Tata because even though she had like the Ishika disguise she was doing things like wanting to hold Futaro's hand and enjoying it when she was um hold, holding holding uh, Futaro's arm and her chest and her chest touching Futaro's arm like those sequences were sweet and then this makes you want to root for best girl even more so that's why I thought it had substantial character development and characterization and I thought from a story perspective, it was good. It got me laughing in a few sequences, which made the episode nice. And while the animation wasn't super strong, it got the job done as always. And I'd say the art was pretty pleasant. And the voice acting was great. And overall, I'm going to rate this episode an 8 out of 10. I thought it was pretty darn good, and I'm eagerly anticipating more. So anyways, guys and guys, this is my thoughts on the episode. Comment down your thoughts in the comment section below. Rate the video. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more. All right, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.